Welcome, dear friends, in the strong name of our Lord Jesus. Welcome to another point of view where we get to reflect on the idea uh, that was given in the week. And this week is a special week because midweek, uh, at the end of this week, we actually began the season of Epiphany, the manifestation of Christ. Uh, and so we, we, we actually acknowledge that wonderful feast day. And we looked at Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12, and I entitled that glorious uh, uh, text on the journey of the Magi, O come, let us adore him. And the thesis of the sermon is the Magi came from afar to seek the King of glory, so let us also seek him, allowing him to reign in our lives. And in today's meditation, we see that because of God's tender mercy, the Messiah will visit the entire earth from on high, all of us, giving light to those who sit in darkness and those who sit in death's shadow. I can think of no better example of this than Peter, who was invited uh, by Cornelius into his home to share with Cornelius and his kinfolk about the gospel through the whole vision that God gave in Acts chapter 10 and 11. And Peter, so amazed that God would lead him to Cornelius, would say in verse 34 and 35, Truly I understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. Dear friend, this is an epiphany. God is shining his light and appearing to everyone. And in the church, as Colossians 3.11 says, here there's not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcised. There is no barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and in all. I love this picture of Augustine. <laughs> this one church that said, Augustine, who was a North African. Yes, he probably was not fair skinned. But dear friends, I love this church acknowledging that Christ came for us all. Let everyone come to him. Oh, come, let us all adore him. 